when you write your essay, you're going to have been thinking about a question for a while, and the point of writing up the essay is to share your answer to that question with other folks, either myself or your classmates, but for all purposes, you should think of yourself as trying to share your answer to that question with your classmates. So what you want to do with the essay is just make really clear right up front what answer you're giving to that question, and then give them reasons why they should believe that your answer is Correct. You know, no, don't don't hold them in suspense about like, oh no, I don't know, like what is going the answer going to be? You know, that's just it, it, that's what makes reading an essay longer and more involved. As a lot of you have probably realized, reading some philosophy when you've got a author who does that, you're just kind of lost and at sea for several pages, and you're just like, I don't understand. What's the point? No, don't be a writer like that. Just tell us straight up front. Look. This is the point of the essay. So if you take this really zoomed out view, I've got a little example essay here, uh, which is just, it's just about a little uh, 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 mystery story that I put together. Uh, and if you just look at the broad view of the, uh, the essay, it should look something like the following. Right up front, you state the conclusion of your essay. This is the answer I'm giving to the question. This is the claim that I'm making. Let us know right up front what that is. And then each individual paragraph in your essay, more or less, gives us different reasons for thinking that that conclusion that you've come to is correct. So that finally at the end, you can remind us again, look, this is the claim that you should believe after reading this essay, and you can maybe give us some reminders for some of the reasons why we should believe that you have the correct answer to the question. So I like to think when I'm writing an essay, just to get myself in the right mind space, I like to think of myself as a lawyer for the claim that I'm making. My job as uh, an essay writer is to make really clear to my audience what the claim is and give them reasons to think that claim is true. Just like, for example, a defense attorney's job is to make really clear for their audience, the jury, that, uh, well, one, their client is innocent, that's the claim, and two, give that jury really good reasons to think that their client is innocent. And then along the way, what a good defense attorney is going to want to do is also be anticipating what the prosecution is going to be saying. So not only are they going to give reasons to think that the client is innocent, they're going to say, all right, well, you know, there's some objections that I'm sure the prosecution is going to make here. The prosecution is going to give you some reasons to think that my client is guilty, but let me head them off at the past and tell you why my client is actually innocent and those reasons the prosecuting attorney is giving aren't going to hold up. Now, uh, I like to have this, this idea of a defense attorney in my head because it just kind of puts me in the right mind space. Uh, and I, I've written this essay in the style of a defense attorney arguing for this conclusion. But I should clarify, uh, I am not asking you to, to actually write your essay as if you were a defense attorney defending a client using the language of a courtroom or, or what have you. But what you want to do is, is use the same structures that a defense attorney uses, where they state right up front, look, my client is innocent. They give you reasons to think that their client is innocent, and they give you reasons to think that everything that the prosecution is saying is incorrect. So that's the broad outlook. Now let me go through and give you a couple little tips about how to fill in uh, these statements of what your claim is and give reasons for those claims. So like I said, right up front, you want to give folks your conclusion, the claim that you make. So uh, in your first paragraph, all you need to do is just give your audience just enough background knowledge so that they can understand the claim that you're going to be making, and then just really clearly and precisely make your claim. So right here in my first paragraph, I've said, look, here's the background. The state, the prosecution argues that my client, Mr. Woodford, murdered his aunt, Ms. Scarlett, so that he would be able to adopt her pet corgi, Newton. All right, so that's all the background information you need to know. There's the setup. Now I'm going to make my claim. However, my client had neither the means nor the opportunity to murder Ms. Scarlett. 
Moreover, the opportunity to adopt Ms. Scarlet's dog after her death was not sufficient motivation for Mr. Woodford to murder her. Therefore, we must conclude that my client is innocent. So I've given you just the, the amount of background knowledge that you need to understand this claim that I'm making, that my client is innocent, and that I've just really briefly kind of summarized the kinds of reasons that I'm going to give you to demonstrate that that conclusion is true. I'm going to show that my client is innocent because um, he had neither the means nor the opportunity nor the motivation to murder uh, this uh, 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 Ms. Scarlet. Now, from the last few years, I've noticed a, a lot of folks, uh, that clearly they're, you're being taught to do this in high school. Instead of opening an essay right like that, you'll open it more like the paragraph below here, where it'll start going on into, you know, since time immemorial, the human species has struggled to determine the innocence and guilt of people accused for crimes. There is often much disagreement concerning whether a person has committed a crime or not. Though we may not blah, 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 blah. I'm already bored. Look, if you were a defendant in a courtroom who had been accused of murder, and your defense attorney got up and their first address to the jury was that shit? About how, like, oh yes, yeah, sometimes people are accused of crimes, and it can be difficult to tell whether they're guilty or not. Like, you would fire them. Right? Everyone knows that. Like, no shit, Sherlock. There's no point in writing that down because your audience already knows all of this. It's just giving them extra floof words to read that aren't going anywhere. So, that's why I suggest that when you open up your essay, you just uh, structure it really tightly like I do in that first paragraph there. Give us the background info we need to understand what claim you're making. Uh, Tell us the sorts of reasons you're going to give to, to think that your claim is true, and then just make that claim that you're going to be uh, proving to us really simply and precisely. All right, when I come back in the next video, I'll give you some more tips about how to structure the rest of your essay to give those reasons to think that your claim is true.